Courtney, welcome to Barnet. Uh, you've signed on loan from Barrow. You must be excited to be here. Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, I can't wait to get playing. You know, it's been a long time since I've uh, touched the football pitch in a, in a minute since injuries. Um, just want to get the ball rolling and hopefully take the club out of the, the situation we're currently in and uh, get some wins under the belt and as many as we can to the end of the season. Yeah, you picked up a, an injury just sort of at a bad time, I guess, uh, when you're at Barrow. Is it going to be a chance now to get some minutes under your belt and hopefully find some form and build a bit of get some goals and build a bit of consistency? Yeah, I mean, I've had a, a bad year and a, and a couple of months with, uh, with injuries, like you say. Didn't expect to go to Byron on my first day and get injured, but, you know, it's one of them things that happens in life. We have to dust ourselves off and go again. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 45 fit now um, and I'm just looking forward to touching the football pitch again. Of course, striker's main asset will be to score goals, but away from that, what, what else can you bring to this Barnet team? Uh, energy, um, pace, you know, desire to win. Uh, I pride myself on, uh, on those things, physicalities as well. Um, but just in, in general, you know, I think I bring a lot to the team in the fact that I'm quite a versatile player, quite a hybrid. Um, you know, and just can't, can't wait to, to show what I can do. We obviously find ourselves in, in a bit of a, a bad situation, as you alluded to. Are you hoping that you can sort of be the man to help turn things around? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I spoke to the gaffer. Um, he told me his ideas and what he wants to do. Also, I had a long chat with uh, Gary Wilde um, over the phone uh, the previous couple of days before signing. Um, you know, with, with the signings I brought in with Daly and Rico uh, Everton, um, you know, that they, they, they're not trying to stay in this position, you know, and, and, and I think I can help get the team out of that position and, you know, get as, as much as far as the table as possibly can. There's some quality at the club and it's obviously been a disappointing campaign. You mentioned there with Daly and Rico. You had your first session this morning. How did you find it? Yeah, it was good. You know, we went through 11 v 11 for 60 minutes. Um, obviously, the, the pitch was a bit slippy, but, you know, all the lads gave uh, everything that they could in the training session. You can see that there's a desire that they want to win. You know, Torquay's a massive game on Saturday, uh, top of the league, and, you know, they've not, they've not lost many games or drew many games, but... Um, the be all and end all we want to win so you know with the desire that Les showed earlier today I think really and truly it's a game that we could do well in I caught up with Liam early he gave you a, a nice little reference uh, must be pleased to be, to be playing with him and a couple of other lads from the Midlands as well yeah of course I mean uh, Daly's a, been a long time friend uh, from non-league from my days when I was at Leamington I know all about him you know, he knows all about me uh, I never have a bad word to say about the guy also when I was 18 you know, I was with uh, Richard Debbett at Tamworth you know, he helped me out when I was there and taught me the, sort of the ropes. So, you know, it's good to have them sort of uh, lads that are local to me down here as well and, and wanting to do the same thing for this club. Torquay on Saturday, as you mentioned, top of the league. But it's a, it's a good chance, hopefully, to maybe get kickstart a season with what would be a, a notable victory. 100%. I mean, that's a, that's a game that you'd realistically look at as, as a final. You know, we're bottom and they're top. Um, you know, we're not going to go out there and just roll over. We don't want to do that. Um, you know, they, they might fancy it a bit too easy on themselves and let us in, and then try let up a little bit and then you know if we can put the, the boot to their throat and uh, stomp them out and then you know that for me is a six point game. You you win that game, then the ball's rolling for the rest of the season. You know, there's thirty, even was it 25, 25 yeah. left to play, mm-hmm. twenty five games left to play. You beat the top of the table. You know, everything else can just fall into place for you. You spent some time at Swansea, obviously a massive club. Tell us a bit about that experience and what that might help you going into this this role yeah I mean I love my time at Swansea I was there for about three years um, it, it's one of them it, I went from one league straight in at the deep end when I'm playing in the championship and you know I got thrown in and I done well so for me it's, it's experience that I can bring to the table in, in, in all aspects you know my goal record for Swansea it shows uh, I, I know where the back of the net is and hopefully I can find the form here to, to do what I do and imitate it from now just lastly, the Bees fans have called for hard work, energy, commitment. It sounds like you're going to bring just that. Yeah, 100%. That's part of my games, everything that I can't control. You know, that's the things that I can control, the factors, you know, tempo, work hard. And if I need to run through a brick wall, I run through a brick wall. It doesn't matter to me.